Optimism right, okay. not talk, talking. Okay, so my contention is this. Yeah. In Islam, the Sunni Orthodox belief is that the Quran is eternal and uncreated. If the Quran is eternal and uncreated, and Allah is eternal and uncreated, you have two beings that are eternal and created. These are properties belonging to God. Therefore, you need to unify this in some way. Now, if you say that Allah is one, and you say it's Wahad, you are that, I am uh, the Sahaja. Oh, you are liar. I am Messiah. Okay, thank you. I will prepare okay, thank you. new world for no, Jesus. No, okay, thank you. And the world will be thank you. Let destroyed in one okay, thank second. You. Let him speak. Where we got Russia will okay, go to you. And the world yeah. will be destroyed in one second. Okay. Right. So if the Quran is eternal and Allah is eternal, you have two eternal beings. That's problematic for someone who thinks that Allah is one and there is only one God. Because one of the properties of God is that he is uncreated. He was before all creation. He was in a state position outside of creation. But if you say the Quran, which you believe, I understand is a book, and if you believe that exists alongside Allah, you have made a partner with Allah. This is problematic for you. Now, Christians have our own understanding of how we reconcile these things. So, for example, you can say God's omnipotence, His omniscience, His omnipresence are properly understood as being with the nature of God. Therefore, we don't say they're separate from God. But the Quran, given that it is a physical book, given that it is next to Allah and, and uncreated and eternal, is separate from Allah. That's problematic because now you have two gods. I would like you to address this because my understanding in Orthodox Sunni, the Orthodox Sunni position, is that the Quran is not created because to say it's created is to reject Sunni Islam, but it is uncreated, it is eternal, and that it intercedes for you at a particular point in a certain way, like doves or like clouds. Done. All right. Okay. Okay, now again, his logic, he said Quran is uncreated, therefore, and the Quran is eternal, and therefore Quran itself is God and separated from God, according to his logic. But he's using double, he's, he's double standard. So according to him, the words of God, which God has spoken in the Bible, according to him, those words are not separated from God. But according to his logic, he's separating the words of Allah and him, they are separating. So the words of God of the Bible and and God himself of the Bible, he's saying they are not separated, double standard. So otherwise you have to believe the words of Allah, which is Quran, is not separated from him, his attributes, the attributes of Allah, we believe Allah has attributes. So one of his attributes is speech. So speech of Allah is uncreated. Okay, we agree with that so also they believe the attribute of God is uncreated like now power of God the words which God has spoken in the Bible are uncreated and eternal according to their logic they say Muslims have two gods because the words of Allah is uncreated and eternal is separated from Allah so same applies what he's saying that logic applies to his double standard with his God which is God of the Bible and his words Liar. And the seven I series. Thank you. You are liar. Don't touch me. Okay, go away. Don't touch me. And it is a public space. And his it's spirit. God He's said in Revelation chapter 5, verse 5 6, it says the lamb had seven horns and seven eyes. And it says this lamb represents the seven spirits of God. So, according to their logic, the seven spirits of God is uncreated and eternal. So, that means, according to their logic, the seven spirits of God should be also more than one God, but seven gods. Gods, because all of them are uncreated. Since he believe anything that is uncreated and eternal and is the attributes of Allah of God is God, that means they have more than triune God. All right. So what's the writer saying? Pause, 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 pause. Have a nice little bit of a break. Yeah, yeah pause, pause. Sorry. Yeah, I pause for him. Oh. I believe in a state show. A state show. A state show.
not good, man. It's childish. So, Sir Roger's position, he claimed that Christians believe the word of God is, is eternal. We don't think that the word of God resides on an eternal tablet alongside God. We don't believe that. We believe that God inspired man through the Holy Spirit to write scripture that is in accordance with his will. We don't believe that's uncreated alongside God because we believe that would be shirk. So he has misrepresented the Christian position. Shock. Now. Shock. 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 So the problem that the Muslims find themselves in is that he believes that the Quran is eternal, preserved on a tablet. I assume he believes that includes the letters, the Arabic and the languages, the, the very things themselves that compromise that tablet. The letters, the words. If they are eternal, then letters and words of Arabic are elements of creation. That would mean that the creation itself of Arabic is now present on an uncreated thing. So somehow an uncreated, ele an uncreated Quran references creation. That's problematic. Secondly, if he says that the Quran is actually just not separate from Allah at all, it's a part of Allah, he adopts the Christian position, then great. Because now what he's just done is he's just said the Quran that is written on the hearts of Muslims, on the hearts of Hafiz. I think you are Hafiz, right? You know the Quran. But if he knows the Quran, then the Quran is in creation. And if the Quran is the eternal one of Allah, that's a part of Allah. Allah is in creation. And Allah is with all of the Muslims who have memorized the Quran. Congratulations. You've just adopted something very similar to the Christian belief. So the, so the Muslim is between a rock and a hard place. Either they say the Quran, the word of Allah, is separate from Allah, in which case you have two uncreated beings, you have two gods, or if it's in the oneness of Allah, then Allah has entered creation. Which side will you pick? I'll give you my time. That's good, yeah. Seconds. Give it to one. Oh, there you are. Okay, now, again, that topic about the words, I'm not going to repeat. And I already, already said, if the word of God should be God itself, that means the words God spoken from since the word he, he, he created the world. And he's spoken with his prophets in Old Testament. And in the Bible, it says, like example, in Isaiah chapter 45, verse 5, God of the Bible speaks. And he said what? I am the God and there is no God beside me. So according to their logic, which is same as the Quran, God is spoken. So that means the word of God itself are God. That's nonsense. None of the prophets of the Bible believed the words of God are God. Show me I challenge any Christian. I don't want Christian theology. I want to go with the prophets because God sent prophets to guide all his nation, all the people people, all mankind, because the prophets are the way and the truth. None of them believed the word itself so is God. So now what I'm saying is, according to Christian theology, all of us, we are God. Do you know why? Because we have the spirits of God. Our spirits came from God. As in the Bible, it says, according to Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 6, and chapter 12, verse, and it says chapter 12, verse 7 I think it says what when people die all this spirit goes back to the one goes back to God oh, I didn't start sorry doesn't matter one minute I'll speak one minute only. so it says our spirits is from God so if our spirit is from God that means our spirit which is from God is uncreated and eternal because the spirit does not die according to Christians when you die the spirit goes back to God so that means according to their logic they have all of us we are spirit and God because the spirit of God which is uncreated and is eternal it's inside us so that means the spirit also should be God as well and plus and what I'm trying to say Christians try to approach and say Jesus is the word so therefore Jesus is God there was no there is nowhere in the Old Testament where it says Jesus existed in the beginning it's found in New Testament and is not even clear cut but it's Christian theology let me give you an example I'll finish one minute Okay. I'll come back to that one. Just come back. Okay. Okay, so he, he again doesn't we start the time. Yeah. He doesn't understand start. what Christians actually believe. We don't think that the word of God is eternal. That's your belief, not mine. We we make a distinction between
between the energies of God and the essence of God. God's essence. So, for example, God can be merciful, we don't, and that's his energy that proceeds, that comes from his essence. So his mercy is his energy that comes from his essence. We don't say, for example, that something that proceed, that comes from God must therefore be God. We don't hold that view. But in Islam, again, the word of Allah that comes from him, yes, that has been with him before creation, the Quran has not been created, right? It's eternal, it's uncreated. That must have been alongside Allah forever. That must mean, therefore, that if it is separate from Allah, you have two gods. If it is not separate from Allah, then you then you basically have Allah in and of himself, the Quran, which is now in creation, Allah has entered creation because the Quran is a part of Allah. So you have to pick one of those two things. Which is it you're going to pick? Are there two gods, the Quran and, the, and Allah, which are both uncreated and eternal, or has Allah entered creation through the Quran, which is one of his attributes? Which one is it? Is the Quran his attribute or not? Two minutes. You never finish. The Quran has been copied okay. from Torah and Bible. Now he proved, exposed his doctrine. He said the word of God is uncreated and is not eternal. Therefore, he, be he believes Jesus is the word of God. So that means Jesus is not eternal, which means Jesus is not God. Simple as that. That's he exposed his doctrine. That's yeah, that's it's recorded. I said the it's word, recorded. I said the word. You said the word is uh, is not eternal. Right. So that means you no, believe I mean, Jesus the is the word. Of Allah. No, not no, the no, words. no, no. The word you said. You said we no, don't believe as Christians. The word is eternal. The words of God. No, the so word, that yeah, means the Jesus no. is part of the word. Jesus is the part of the words of God. No, so therefore, Jesus is not eternal. And let me come to the point. Christian, the reason they say Jesus is the word of God, Jesus is God because they said Jesus is the word of God. There is nowhere in the Bible even is contradiction and clear cut contradiction because in Old Testament it doesn't say it doesn't say Jesus existed before as the Word of God and the Word became flesh because in Genesis chapter one. Well, you still have uh, your time. I don't know what's wrong with this. Okay. Have thirty seconds okay. and then look. Yeah. No. Now I have a look. In Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, it says, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. But in John, it says, in the beginning, there was a word, and the word was with God, and the word became God. And the word was with God, and the word was God. Yeah, yeah I just correct and repeat it. I just repeat it. In the beginning, there was a word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. There you go. Okay, so now, in, in Old Testament, it doesn't say that. L clear cut lies, Jesus said what? In the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 5. Oh Father, glorify me that the glory I had before with you, before the world was created. So that means Christians use that word verse to try to indicate Jesus existed before the world was created. That's a clear cut lie. Do you know why? Because in the Old Testament, in the book of in the book of Psalm, chapter 8 verse 5, it says Jesus was made lower than the angels. So someone was made lower than the angels, how can have glory with God? Thank you. Wait, start off two minutes. Right, okay. Yeah, I didn't so, finish, but it's fine. Yeah, you had time though. <clears throat> right, so Sarad still actually doesn't address the Islamic problem. I keep reiterating what the Islamic problem is, that you have an eternal, uncreated Quran alongside Allah, who is also eternal and uncreated. This is shirk. You've just associated a partner with Allah. Now, Christians don't have this problem because we don't believe the words of Allah, but the words of God are eternal. We don't believe that. We don't believe it exists on an eternal tablet. We don't believe it came down from heaven. We don't believe that. So you have this problem unique to Islam. Now, this has been a problem for Muslims for centuries. There have been wars fought about this very problem. The Mutazilites rejected it because they knew it's irrational. The Mutazilites said the Quran is created and that's how they got around this problem. The Mutazilites said, actually, you know what? Anyone who says the Quran is eternal and created commits shirk because they copy the Christian belief.
That's what the metazolite said. Hey, well, what, 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 wait, wait, wait. What happened Three, to the metazolite? They're nice. all gone. Why were they all gone? Because they were killed. Right. I so, am the tire. No. You are a liar. I am the tire. You are a liar. Notice that he still hasn't addressed the question. He keeps going to the Bible. The Bible won't help you here. The Bible is a totally different question to what the problem you have in Islam is. I've given you the problem. I've laid it out for you. You need to get out of this issue. So again, I ask you, are you going to say the Quran is uncreated and separate from Allah, and hence you have two gods? Or are you going to say the Quran is uncreated and eternal, but within Allah, and therefore Allah is in creation because the Quran is in creation? Which one are you going to pick with? Let's see if he answers my question or if he talks about the Bible. Go. Okay. Start your time. Yeah. Okay, now again, he said the words of God of the Bible. I'll answer first of all, in Islam, according to Islamic teaching, Prophet Quran and the teaching of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and according to Islamic scholars, the attributes of Allah are not God. That's the attributes. Allah has attributes of speech and his speech is uncreated. And it's not God, the speech itself. It's not God. So now, it's now he said, so now I just said it's not God. So it's you're not two God. gods. We only yeah, have Allah. Allah, and speech. Allah and speech <laughs> is not God. I would have to speak. So now he said that we don't believe the Bible is written by God. So now I'm going to expose his lies according to Old Testament, the book of Exodus, chapter 31, verse 18. God of the Bible wrote down the Ten Commandments by his finger so that means those ten commandments are the words of God and still now they have it so he's telling me they are not eternal they are not they are are they uncreated or created if they are created or if they are uncreated then that means if you say the words of God which he wrote down which is the ten commandments as the Bible says so therefore if the, those words are uncreated then you're telling me the words of God never existed with him as same as you said to me also if you say the words is uh, un uh, and cre uncreated and eternal that means they have to be God as well according to his Christian theology so now I'm saying which comes first Christian theology or prophets of the Bible prophets of the Bible do, do prophets of the Bible practice Christianity or worship the triune God including Jesus the answer is no Jesus the man the flesh they believe he's not God but he didn't worship God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit where did they get from right. which comes was the theology of Christians or prophets of the Bible including Jesus Right, start again. Yeah. Anyone here an answer to my question there? I just in answered. all of these two minutes? I answered. What did he talk about the Bible again? I said the attributes no, no, no. of Allah wait, wait. is not God. Okay, all right, let's take that then. I answered So he that said one. the attributes of Allah are not Allah. Congratulations, you now have what, how many attributes are there? At least 99? If they're not Allah, how many, how many eternal, uncreated things do you have? You've just advocated for polytheism. You just can't. See, Christi it. Christians wait, wait. don't have this view. Okay. Christians don't believe that you have anything that, uh, that's outside God. God's nature is encompassing of all of his attributes. Attributes. You don't believe that. You just said it's not Allah. That means that you have Allah on one bit, and then separate from Him, it you have His Word, and then separate from that you have His Spirit, and then separate from that you have the Word, which apparently is Isa. So you ultimately end up with polytheism. You see, this is what happens when Islam. This is what happens when Islam. Oh, that's good for you. Good for you. This is this is what happens when Islam grows out of a culture that doesn't have philosophy. It doesn't know how to understand God, so it makes accident and claims of polytheism. Again, what Saraj has done here is he's just made a case for multiple gods. He's just said you have Allah, which is eternal and uncreated. You have his word, which is eternal and uncreated, and you have all of his attributes. His attributes also include two right hands. So you have two eternal, uncreated right hands, which are separate from Allah. Don't I never, I never are his that. two right hands Allah? I never said that. I said this speech. No, no, it's not, it's I'm talking about the speech of Allah by his brother. Brother, please wait, brother. This is why he brother. has this with brother, David last week. He's David. He can't give brother, an speak, he can't give a, Christians don't have this view. We don't believe that the, that the, an attribute of God is his speech. We don't believe that. We believe that when God speaks, he is his uh, essence that brings about through his energy the speech. He creates his speech. But you say, no, 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 his speech is a part of him forever. But then you also say the speech isn't him. But if the speech has always been with him, but it's not with him, you have two separate things, Allah and his speech. 
You have now made a case for polytheism. You just committed shirk and you need to repent, but it's your own belief. But this is the thing. Wait, wait, wait. There is no, there is no answer for this philosophically. There is no answer for this philosophically. All the Sarat is going to do is he's going to talk about Christianity. Watch. So now, as I said again, he's mixing about the hands and the speech of Allah. As I said, Allah's attribute, they are not God themselves by themselves. So now, according to his logic, his Chris, the word he's speaking, is another person. That's what he's trying to tell me now. So he's separating his speech and Chris, according to his logic. So now, as I said, if you are to accept the words, first of all, the word, if there's nothing called the word, Jesus is the word of Allah, is the word from Allah. The word also Allah said when he was talking about John, when he was saying about John, he said also the word from Allah. So the word from Allah in the Quran, uh, it, say, uh, it says chapter 3, verse 39, and chapter 3 again, verse 45. The word from Allah is not the word of Allah. Of and from are two different things. So now I'm saying his logic, he said Christians, we do not believe the attributes of God are God as well. So now he's forcing to Islam that silly logic to Islam, but he's not justifying to his religion. But he wants to justify his silly logic to Islam, but not to his religion. Double standard. So now I'm saying, according to them, they have more than triune God because all our spirit came from Allah, from God, according to Bible. So that means the spirit which came from our God it's inside his creation that means that we are also gods the spirit they believe all spirits are uncreated eternal according to the Christians logic the way he's applying to Islam Islam so they must have more than triune God and also one minute left so now what I'm coming to what, uh, what I'm coming to what I'm coming to uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is Jesus is not the word of Allah and I said many times Christians confuse the difference between the word of Allah and the word from Allah Quran is the word of Allah but Jesus is the word from Allah which is the glad tidings also John was used same not the spirit from the spirit of Allah is the spirit of is the spirit, not spirit of Allah, but the spirit from Allah. Or oh, in the Quran, chapter and 4, verse 171. Also, Adam's spirit is from Allah. Christians' logic, Jesus' spirit is from Allah. Our spirit is from Allah. But we are not God. Adam's spirit is from Allah. Right. But Adam is not God. Right, and us, we are not God. Only Jesus is God. Sure, sure. All right, this is quite simple. He seems to be thinking that if something is from something, that that somehow means that it's created. Like, no, that's not my argument. I don't care whether it says it's the word of God, whether it's the spirit yeah, of God, one, yeah, or whether one. it's from God. It, it doesn't last make any one. difference okay. to me. The point is, in Muslim belief... Yeah, last word. No, let him speak two minutes. It doesn't matter whether it, where it comes from, or whether it's from or off. The point is, is that according to the Sunni Orthodox belief, the words of Allah are with Allah and have been forever. They are uncreated, they are eternal, they are immortal. If that is the the case you have two things being described you have Allah and you have his words because you said that his attributes are not Allah if his attributes are not Allah then they have to be separate from Allah don't they do you understand if they are not Allah his attributes are separate from him that means that there is Allah and then there are these two right hands separate from Allah that's just sure you've just associated partners with Allah you see again this is a problem in Islamic theology that has been around ever since since the yeah, early the Sahaba. The early Sahaba didn't know how to recognize this. You had the Mutazalites, you had the Hanbali, the, the Ashites. They had massive wars and disagreements about this. They had people thrown in prison because of this. What you cannot say as a Muslim is that the Quran is created. You have to say it's uncreated. But you also think that you can say it's separate. If you say it's separate, you've just committed chuck and made separate gods. So you have to say that the Quran is an attribute of Allah. It is Allah. The attributes of Allah have to be Allah because 
it, 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 think of it this way. You you have attributes of yourself. It is you, right? The, Siraj's attributes are Siraj. What's your attributes according to your understanding? So I have an essence, right? What's there attributes? is an essence. The, the very things that make you you. Okay. Your hands is your part of your attributes. Right. Well, my hands, right? My body yes. is Chris. And so okay. is my spirit. Your words, so, the words you're speaking. The words I'm speaking are created by me. You're created by you. No, my words that I'm speaking are created. By who? Me. But are they you? But, but according to Islam, no, so they're not me. They're created by me. Uh -huh. My character, my personality, my mind is me, but the words I speak are created by me. They come out from me. So right? you believe, there's, there's a creative so, coming from me. So you believe, yeah. uh, does, doesn't matter your answer. Right. So you believe the word of Wait, God in the, the Bible. Word, the word, the word is Jesus, yeah? The word of God. No, the, the word. So the word of God. So your words. So word. when God speaks in the Bible, yeah. let's say he spoke with his prophets, yes? Those words are uncreated or created? No, they're created. Created? Yes. By God? Yes. Oh. So but you believe that so now, so now you said problem. So now you're saying the words God spoken of the Bible. He creates them. He created. But you have so words God that are eternal. So God created his words. So now yes, you God, say. when God speaks, okay. he speaks so, as he wishes. So, okay, yeah. now are you saying the words God spoken with his prophets never existed with him before the word was created? Exactly. So God, never existed. God's words, he never speaks when he wants. No. Yeah. Okay, in Islam, even we believe that. No, you don't. You believe the words the, of No, Allah we eternal. believe. Wait, here we go. No, let me say to you. Is in Islam, yeah. God speaks, Allah speaks whenever he wants. Right, but were those words eternal with him? So now I'm asking were the words those eternal words. With him? So now I'm asking were those words eternal those with him. Words, no, were they, they were now, eternal now, with him. Wait, wait, first. Just let answer me answer question. my question. Okay. Answer my question. No, no, answer so what I'm you asking, just said. The words God spoken with his prophets, are right. you saying never existed with God? No, he creates them. After some words. So when he wants to communicate, he speaks. So he God creates. speaks. His words are uncreated, but he speaks whenever no, he wants. No, his words are created. Go, his you words. believe the words so are uncreated. If, so now you can tell you this. So, okay. Right. If the word of God is created, the then, the, okay, God. that means Jesus is part of the words of God. No, that means Jesus word is created. Is thing from That's his why words. in Isaiah chapter 44, this is verse 24, of it says what? God of the Bible is the one who created everything, including Jesus. Oh. That's why God of the Bible made Wait, so Jesus so lower the than the angels. God, the Bible says what? Jesus the Bible says, yes. Show me what it says. The because Jesus, Jesus is the flesh, you believe the man. Oh, you believe through his incarnation? Yes. Oh. You believe Jesus himself is God and you believe he's created by God. So no, something no, 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 was no. created the by hum, God the cannot be God. Jesus is created by God. And someone Not was made and someone was made lower than the angels cannot be God. Why? Because if you you are are made lower than the angels, how can you be God? Is God uh, lower? Is God limited. lower than the angels? No, because in Psalm chapter 88, verse 5, also Paul and Paul himself quoted from Psalm according to 1 Corinthians, I uh, know Hebrews chapter 2, verse 9. Is he said Jesus was made lower than the angels? Right. So if he was made lower than the angels, he was created by God. So Jesus, no, 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 no. he believes the word. He Existed, the words and then are not, the words are created by God. So if the words are created by God, he's trying to say blasphemy, he's trying to say the words of God, which he's spoken with his prophets and before the world was created, were not there. That's a Christian it's belief. not God created. So I want Christian belief, yes. But you believe so, they're eternal. So his logic, right. so his logic, anything that's eternal must be God. So according to his logic, no, it's wait, wait, let me clarify. Come on, sorry, let me clarify. What I mean is anything. Anything okay. that is eternal yes. has to be within God as part of his nature. It cannot be separate. As soon as you say it's separate, you now have two gods. So you can't say his Allah's attributes are not Allah. You have to say they are. Otherwise you commit shirk. So join with me now in saying that Allah's attributes One are Allah. Because I was about to say, say actually Allah's attributes are Allah. Well, I'm not saying this. Yeah. You commit the attributes of Allah, Allah are Allah. not God. Allah. Yeah. So you They're say separate from Allah. your words, separate your from words. Allah. Look, logic. Look at his logic here. His words, God's word, according to him, is uncreated. So now he's God's saying, words, uh, not God's words. words. That's Christ. So okay, God's words. Yeah. Okay, Christ is part of the words. No, so no, because no, 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 no. God made Jesus. He's the Logos. God made Jesus. Okay, is the spirit spirit? What's this got to do? Is it going to be a tangent? I'm asking is because a spirit yeah. and the word, all of them, you believe, are uncreated. 
By the spirit and the word. Yes. yes. The, the spirit and the word. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. So now what I'm asking you is, yeah. the spirits, our spirits, mm. came from Allah, God. Right. According to your Bible. Mm. No, the Christian theology. Mm. So are those spirit God as well? Are they uncreated? No. No, are they uncreated? No. Are they uncreated? They're not created. They're, they, are, they are not uncreated. They're created. They're created. Look, the only things we will have uncreated wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Holy Spirit. No, you need to answer. Uh, uncreated. I'm saying. Uncreated. Yeah. So the spirits. I keep this watching. No, the spirit yeah. which came from God, the one you have in you now. Right. Holy Spirit. Is it uncreated? And the it's Holy Spirit is uncreated. I'm not asking the, the Holy Spirit. The spirit I have within me, my soul, my spirit, yes, is created. created. Show me your evidence. No, I don't need to. No, I want evidence in the Bible. I don't show. No evidence. Why, why don't you show? No evidence. Find me a Christian that disagrees. Find no me a Christian that disagrees. Find me a Christian that disagrees. Find me a Christian that disagrees. So his logic, not Bible. He's using right, Christian he theology. He have an answer. So now, now, Allah. No, now again, I'm asking. Wait, wait. So now I'm asking. The, is you the power of God. No, wait. Is the power of God is the power of God and separate from God? No, because it's within his essence. Oh, within his essence. Of a nature. So look, yes. now, now the tell power, me the same thing about speak. Allah. No, tell me the same that, thing. No, it's my two minutes. You let me speak. <laughs> let me speak. We were speaking about. So Allah. His, his logic here, his double standard, the word of Allah, which is Quran, he's trying to say is right. God. For you. So according no, 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 to, you according to, you, according to, according to, so now he believes the word is uncreated and eternal. You do. So okay. So now therefore he. Trying to say Quran is the word of Allah and Allah is that. there, so that means he is said two gods. Yes, so according if to his have, logic, how many, how many, so how many God, eternal and great wait, things? Wait, let me speak two minutes. Let me finish. Go. So, God of the Bible and the word is here. According to his logic, they are one God only, one, but the word of Allah, which is Quran, and Allah, according to him, is two gods. Double they're standard, not, they're separated. Double yes, they are. standard. Christians don't Double think they're separated. Standard. He thinks they're separated. So, now, conclusion, wait, you think. So you conclude, yes. I'm going to conclude. We believe Father, Son, and Holy Spirit I'm are going to conclude. three persons in the one singular divine essence. Amen. His attributes are within his essence. He thinks the attributes are outside of his essence. That means you have multiple things. You have at least 90, well, 100 things. Yes. That is shirk. Is your this spirit, is basic is, theology. Is your spirit is eternal? Philosophy. Is your spirit yeah. eternal? My spirit? Yes. Eternal in the sense that it was created that is, it will is live it forever. Is it eternal? Eternal. Eternal in the sense that it will live Thank forever. Thank you. And yes. is God eternal? In eternal. In the wait, wait, he answer, sin, please. He is God eternal? In the sense he proceeds no, time. No, is God eternal? In the sense he proceeds time. Okay, is yes. God eternal? In the sense he proceeds time. Yes. yes. Okay, is your spirit eternal? In the sense that I will live forever. Mm. Yes. Is your spirit eternal? Thank you. According to his logic, you don't know how to everything him. that's eternal is God. So that means all our spirits are God as well. Gods, not God. I, so I they are on more than trying God. So spirit of God, spirits of God, our spirits, mm. And the power of God, the anger of God, all are uncreated, eternal. The word is uncreated. According to him, is eternal. So no, they have more than triune himself. God. No, it's so his essence. When I say the attributes of God are not God by themselves, he's rejected. But according to him, his, the attributes of God are not God, separated from him. Of course but not. My that means separate God. Double standard. So, How can you have God so, and then have his omni so now, omniscience so separate so now, from him? So now, Jesus himself, he was never never given any glory by God no, the Father because you know why? Do you know why? Yeah. As I said before, Jesus was made lower than the angels. Well. Someone who was made lower than the angels is created. Wait, how do you, how he does was that made. No, that made doesn't is logically what? flow. He was if created. If something is made lower than the angels, yes. that doesn't mean that thing is in God, itself is okay. created. Is God lower than the angels? Can God, can God make is God himself lower than the angels? Than the angels? Okay. I say he can, no, that's you my say two minutes. he can't. My two minutes. I didn't speak. I didn't finish. No, no. Look, you interrupted me. Yes, we will be talking. You've been interrupting me. Uh, you you me. You, you say that Allah's attributes are separate from Allah. Is, 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 sure. God, is God lower than the angels? Can God become lower than the angels? Yeah. Yes. yes. That blasphemy. Yes. No, you right, stop. That's all he's got. That's, that's all he's got. He right. doesn't agree with his He plan. said no, God became it. lower than no, the no, angels. No, no, no. That's all right, wait, Can Allah do anything outside of his will? Let me take a chapter 24, verse 16. Should be finished. 
put to death. Anyone who's blasphemed. Can Allah do anything outside of his will? Can Allah do anything outside of his will? Allah does whatever he wants. But I'm sorry, can you do things outside of his will? Allah does whatever he wants. Wow. But Allah is not lower. Allah does whatever he wants. Allah does whatever he wants. Allah is not lower than his creations. Jesus, he admitted his lower than the angels. And he said, God can become so how many gods do you believe in then? So, so you blasphemy. believe in Allah, you believe it's in his blasphemy. omnipotence, his omniscience, no, that's his right hand, logic. I guess that's two. His logic. His Last shin, time I challenged his three eyes. Is it three eyes or two? I want you to speak my friend, my friend, you don't Commission. understand the problem speak. you're in. Yeah. You don't understand that when you make you the attributes minutes, separate from Allah, you've you made two multiple minutes. gods. Because Christians not. don't say this, because okay. if we said it, we'd be making multiple gods. In Islam, my friend, you're stuck in polytheism. Conclusion, yeah. Conclusions. Do you want to do conclusions? Do you want to do your first one, Omar? You do first. You always like to go last, don't you? Yeah. All right, my brother is surrounded with the inhumanity. Uh, okay. He likes to go last, I think. But I'm going to do my conclusion wrap-up. Okay. Conclusion. Right, uh, so uh, my whole point in this debate, yeah. he wanted to clarify a very bad debate he had with David last week, where he kind of hinted at the idea of the Quran was created and not eternal. Now, he's trying to wrap that up by doubling down. No, it is eternal. It is uncreated. My point is, is that when he does that, he's now just made multiple gods because there are now multiple beings separate from each other that are uncreated and that are eternal and immortal. Those are properly understood to be properties of God. But he's applying it to multiple things. Okay. Now, how does the Christian get around this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Christian doesn't believe the same thing. The Christian believes that within God's nature, his essence, we find his attributes. Yeah. They are not separate from him. Okay. To say they're separate is to say there's multiple gods. And this is what is what is wrong with Islamic theology. It doesn't have a philosophical background to it. It doesn't know how to apply reason. It ends up being unreasonable. They will say, there is only one God. They will say the Shahada all the way, all the way, just like that guy did. But when it comes to what they believe, they believe in two separate right hands. They believe in a shin. They believe in at least three eyes. They believe in uh, all of these attributes that are separate from Allah. If you have an eternal tablet separate from Allah, that's eternal. Man, you've got definitely, you've got multiple gods. Christians don't believe this is why Christianity is superior and doesn't commit polytheism. Christianity is a proper monotheistic religion. He can't address it. He just has to go on and on and on about Christianity. Let's see if he can do his final statement without mentioning Christianity. It's my challenge to my Muslim brother here. Let's see if he can do it. My brother in humanity. Go on, Saraj. Okay. So now, my conclusion is... So, fairly, I listen to him, yes, respectfully. So now, my conclusion is, according to Christian theology, they cannot force that theology to Islam and to their belief, but they force to Islam. So now, my point is, all what I was trying to say is, the word, the spirits, the anger of God, according to Bible, the power of God, the attributes of God, according to him, they are not separate from God and they are not God separately, separately. But that one is forced it to Islam, but he's not forced it to his belief. So that's, that's what? Double standard. So now he said God, Jesus was made lower than the angels according to Psalm chapter 8 verse 5. So G God cannot be lower than his creations, than angels. So and I ask him, can God become lower than his angels? He said yes, Chris. So now the word itself the word he said is eternal is uncreated he believes the word of God the words God spoken no. in his pro with his no, no, prophets no, 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 no. he said is uncreated he's created and, but it's eternal he said it's eternal. It's eternal his spirit is eternal all our spirits are eternal so according to his belief everything that is uncreated and is eternal is God but his spirit is not God but he's forcing the word of God which is eternal Eternal, as some Scots, yeah, eternal. He said, therefore, that's God to God. But his spirits and other spirits, Jesus' spirits, everyone's spirit is eternal. They're not God. But the ones in Islam is God. The word is God. But the word of the Bible is not God. The one God spoken with his prophets. So double standard. Last time I was challenging to show me any Christian or in the Quran. In the, I mean, not a Christian. Any Muslim scholar or in the Quran. In the hadith believes 
the Quran itself is separate from Allah and is God by itself and we have two gods but this Christian last time said Siraj gone against Sunnah by saying he denied the Quran is created that's what they said and I exposed him and I know I said we don't believe the Quran is created the Quran is uncreated if you believe anything that's eternal and is uncreated is God then you have to believe your spirits is God our spirits are God the seven spirits of God how many of them Christian theology according to Revelation chapter 5 verse 6 it says the lamb had seven eyes and seven horns so the seven those seven spirits of God are uncreated and eternal that means they are more than triune God God of the Bible has finger body parts image uh, like example Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 also 2 Samuel chapter 22 verse 7 to 10 he's got mouth no streets and everything and he sleeps he wakes up like a drunk pastor so I finish so what I'm trying to say is shall I start what I'm trying to say is Christians have been double standard by saying anything that's eternal and uncreated is God therefore we have more gods triune God or in Islam according to Christian theology so when it comes to them they believe the spirits which represent God according to Revelation chapter 5 verse 6 is uncreated and eternal our spirits are eternal are uncreated because the spirit goes back to our God according to Bible Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 7 so now they saying that does not apply to Christian theology Christians believe but they want to force that one into Islam and we Muslims do not believe their theology they want which they want to apply to Islamic Islam Islamic doctrine believe they cannot apply to themselves double standard so what I'm saying is if you are to believe anything that's eternal and and uncreated so God the anger of God is uncreated is eternal the power of God is un eternal uncreated the spirits of God is uncreated and eternal our spirits according to Christians is eternal and uncreated our spirits because it came from God so if it came from God and they believe Jesus is the word and he said the word of God is uncreated which is the words God spoken so but they saying the word of Jesus which is Jesus is uncreated if it's uncreated why Jesus was created by God according to the book of Isaiah chapter 44 verse 24 God said I'm the one who created you in the womb so who created Jesus in the womb Jesus they believe is the man who created him why not Jesus the divine nature didn't create himself sorry sir. you're drinking sorry I'm concluding okay so according to them Jesus had two natures but the nature of Jesus the divine nature of Jesus didn't create the man Jesus so you can tell Jesus created nothing then Jesus the man nature didn't worship Jesus the divine nature but Christians are telling us according to their theology they worship God the Father Jesus the divine nature and the Holy Spirit but who worship prophets of the Bible if Jesus existed before the world was created and he had glory with God that's a lie Jesus never had glory with God Do you know why Isaiah chapter Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8 it say God of the Bible said I will not share my glory with anyone so who's Jesus how can God share his glory with Jesus Jesus said all authority was given by God was given to me by God God didn't didn't give Jesus any authority do you know why because in the Bible in the Old Testament it says in Exodus chapter 15 verse 18 do you know what it says God said I will reign God will reign forever if God reigns God reigns forever how can Jesus have authority how can God give the, his authority to Jesus so therefore Jesus never existed in the beginning 
he was made lower than the angels as Psalm chapter 8 verse 5 and also Paul quoted Paul quoted from Psalm chapter 8 verse 5 when he says in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 so someone was made lower than the angels cannot be God but Chris here told me God can be lower than his creations that's blasphemy to God so according to Old Testament Chris should be put to death Leviticus chapter 24 verse 16 it says anyone who blasphemes God should be put to death but in the in the New Testament it says anyone who blasphemes Jesus the son his sins should be forgiven and anyone who blasphemes the Holy Spirit his sins are not forgiven look God if you blaspheme God you should be put to death God the Father but if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit your sins are not forgiven but if you blaspheme Jesus your sins are forgiven Jesus is lower than the Holy Spirit why it's clear Jesus is not God because it says in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 12 verse 32 31 to 32 and Mark chapter 9, chapter 3 verse 28 to 30 so wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh